Did you know that eating potatoes with this certain thing could lead to cancer and dementia? Yes. Even healthy potatoes have their perfect matches and they're not so great ones. A good potato can only do its magic if eaten the right way. Combine it with the wrong foods, and instead of boosting your health, you might just be taking a step back. That's why I've got something special prepared for you. Here comes Dr. John with the rescue plan. To keep cancer and dementia at bay, we'll reveal the three worst food matches for potatoes, and, of course, the three best ones. Stay tuned to make your potato meals not only delicious but also super beneficial for your health. Hello, everyone. It's your Dr. John here. Are there anyone who haven't subscribed yet? Hit that subscribe button and like right now. Share this video with your loved ones and introduce them to your Dr. John. When hunger strikes, there's one snack that always comes to mind. The steamy, fluffy potato, full of steamy goodness. Whether it's enjoying a hot boiled potato dipped in sugar or salt, or savoring its soft texture and mild taste in creamy mashed potato, fries, or stews, potatoes are a versatile delight. So, I've got something prepared for you. With its rich nutrients, the potato can easily replace main dishes, making it today's star. Potatoes have been loved globally by ages or across centuries. During times of famine, they were the ultimate crop to stave off hunger. And as times got better, they became a popular snack or delicacy. Nowadays, with their high water content and low calories, potatoes are also celebrated as a food for weight loss. But hey, did you know? Even such a healthy food as the potato can be harmful when eaten with the wrong things. So, let's dive into the three worst food pairings with potato for preventing cancer and dementia. And the three best ones that could help extend our lifespan in a healthy way. First up, the worst food combination with potato is banana. Aren't you surprised? While bananas, full of nutrients and dietary fiber, might seem like a perfect match for their satiety, they're not the best pairing for health. You're probably familiar with the advice to limit salt intake for cardiovascular health, aren't you? That's because consuming too much sodium, the main component of salt, can raise blood pressure due to osmotic pressure principles. But, reducing sodium intake is only half the battle. It's also crucial to consume plenty of potassium, which helps expel the sodium you've already ingested from your body. Potatoes are packed with many excellent nutrients, especially potassium, which dilates blood vessels, facilitating the smooth elimination of waste and sodium. Surprisingly, potassium is also great for bone health, making it a best choice for preventing osteoporosis. The abundant potassium in potatoes is alkaline, neutralizing blood acidity and preventing calcium from leaching out of the bones. Moreover, it significantly aids in muscle contraction and relaxation, preventing sudden cramps in legs or calves. So, regularly consuming potatoes can benefit not just blood pressure and prevent arterial sclerosis and strokes, but also bone and muscle health. Here's the catch. Just like potatoes, bananas are also high in potassium. While potassium is beneficial, excessive intake can disrupt cellular water balance, causing muscles and nerves to relax excessively. This can lead to muscle weakness, paralysis, chronic numbness in hands and feet, and even severe conditions like cardiac arrhythmia and acute hypotension. Therefore, from now on, avoid eating potatoes and bananas together. Instead, consume them separately to fully benefit from each of their nutritional properties. Now, the best food pairing for potatoes I recommend is vinegar. Surprised to hear that vinegar goes well with potatoes? It might sound unusual, but let's dive into why this combination is a winner. Potatoes are often nicknamed A, king of vitamin because they're loaded with vitamin C. 
a single potato contains more than a third of the recommended daily intake of vitamin C, which is three times the amount found in an apple. Vitamin C in potatoes is great for relieving stress and acts as an antioxidant, boosting our immunity. It strengthens collagen tissue, keeping the skin firm and even offering anti-aging benefits. But wait, you're probably aware that vitamin C is sensitive to heat and acidity. However, the vitamin C in potatoes is uniquely protected by the starch that encases it, making it less likely to be destroyed by heat. So, you can enjoy your potatoes cooked without worry. But here's the thing. Despite potatoes being rich in vitamin C, not all of it is absorbed by our body. It would be a shame if all those good vitamins just went to waste, isn't it? This is where vinegar comes into play. Vitamin C is absorbed much better in the intestines when the acidity is higher. By adding a splash of vinegar or lemon juice to your potato dishes or potato salad, or boiling potatoes in water with vinegar, you can significantly increase the absorption rate of vitamin C. Remember this tip to maximize the health benefits of your potatoes. The second worst potato-based food is fries and potato fritter. Crispy, freshly fried potato fries and chewy potato fritters are undeniably delicious. However, these cooking methods are not the healthiest choices. Both fries and fritters result in high calories and trans fats, which can lead to obesity and cardiovascular diseases, as many of you might already know. But there's more concern recently that fried potatoes may even contain carcinogens, which means causing cancer. So, what's in fried potatoes that's causing such alarm? The culprit is a substance called acrylamide. This is formed when foods high in carbohydrates, like potatoes, are cooked at high temperatures, such as baking or frying. Acrylamide has been proven to cause cancer and attack the proteins in brain nerves, increasing the risk of Alzheimer's, dementia, and Parkinson's disease. And it has been classified as a carcinogen by the WHO and the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Although frying potatoes at temperatures below 347 degrees Fahrenheit or blanching them in vinegar water can somewhat reduce the formation of acrylamide, it's best to avoid these cooking methods for health reasons. Then, what is the best way to enjoy potatoes? There's a miraculous method for enjoying potatoes without worrying about blood sugar spikes. Simply steam or boil the potatoes then store them in the refrigerator overnight before eating. This process increases the formation of resistant starch. Potatoes are known for their high carbohydrate content, which usually raises blood sugar levels, as starch is broken down into glucose. However, resistant starch does not break down and instead passes through the gut. Fermenting in the intestine, which is beneficial for gut health and does not spike blood sugar levels. So, instead of eating unhealthy fried potatoes or fritter, it's better to cook, cool, and then consume potatoes to benefit from the resistant starch they contain. The second perfect pairing for potato is milk. Earlier, I told you how potatoes are great for preventing muscle cramps, like those in your calves or legs due to their high potassium content. Another reason to make potatoes a must-eat is their protein. Potatoes contain protein? You might wonder, yes, indeed. Potatoes do contain protein, and it's a very high quality with a great absorption rate in the body. In fact, the protein in potatoes has one of the highest absorption rates, ranked next to milk and eggs, and is even considered superior to soy protein. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite all the goodness of potatoes, they lack vitamin A, fat, and calcium. This is where milk comes in, perfectly complementing potatoes by providing what they lack. Conversely, milk lacks vitamin C, which potatoes, being rich in vitamins, can provide, making them a perfect match for each other. 
Enjoying potatoes blended with milk or in a warm soup during cold days is a fantastic way to consume this combination. Here's a tip. Always eat potatoes with their peels. This is because the peel is where most of the antioxidants, such as polyphenols, are concentrated. You can steam a large batch of potatoes, store them in the refrigerator overnight, and then blend them with their peel to make potato soup or potato milk. This way, you can enjoy protein and vitamins without worrying about blood sugar spikes. Remember this for a healthy and nutritious potato dish. Lastly, the third worst type of potato is the sprouted, green potato. You might aware that the sprouts contain solanine, a toxin that makes them unsafe to eat. However, many people think it's okay to eat potatoes that have turned green. This is not the case. The green coloration in potatoes indicates an increase in solanine content, serving as a warning signal not to eat them. Solanine is a natural insecticide produced by eggplant family plants like potatoes to protect themselves. It's highly toxic, and even small amounts can cause symptoms of food poisoning such as headaches, abdominal pain, and nausea. Consuming it in large quantities can lead to difficulty breathing and is extremely dangerous. Some might wonder if washing or cooking at high temperatures could make them safe. However, solanine is not water-soluble and does not get removed by washing. It only breaks down at temperatures above 545F or 285 degrees Celsius, so cooking doesn't eliminate it either. Solanine levels increase when exposed to light, so always store potatoes in a dark place. Dispose of any potatoes that have sprouted or turned green to ensure your health. Here's a tip. Storing potatoes with apples can help prevent them from sprouting. The ethylene gas produced by apples can inhibit the sprouting of potatoes, allowing you to store them for longer periods safely. Finally, the third best food pairing for potatoes is onions. Were you aware that potatoes are good for stomach health? Yes, it's true. The reason lies in the anti-inflammatory actions of polyphenols and arginine found in potatoes. They protect the gastric mucosa prevent cell degeneration, alleviate inflammation, and remove toxins. But that's not all. Potatoes are among the top alkaline-producing agricultural products, which is why they are often hailed as the ultimate future health food. Here's a quiz for you. Why are the alkaline foods considered good for health? It's because the acidification of our bodies can lead to various diseases. Especially, when our blood becomes acidic, it can cause inflammation and potentially lead to cancer. Therefore, consuming alkaline foods like potatoes is crucial for neutralizing our bodies and warding off diseases. Now, onion comes into play. Onion is well known for being an excellent alkaline food when paired with potatoes. They even enhance the anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects of potatoes, creating a powerful synergy. Known as the cleaners of the blood vessels, onions strengthen the walls of blood vessels and melt away inflammation, boosting the absorption rate of vitamins from potatoes. So, from now on, make sure to include onions in your potato dishes. Recommended recipes include stir-fried potatoes and onions, stews, and soups, all of which are great ways to enjoy this perfect match. Let's summarize everything we've learned about the best and worst food combinations with potatoes. Firstly, avoid eating potassium-rich bananas with potatoes. Instead, pair potatoes with vinegar to enhance their health benefits. Next, steer clear of deep-fried or oil-laden cooking methods like fries or potato fritter. Steam or boil potatoes, and enjoying them with milk is a much healthier choice. Lastly, never consume sprouted or green potatoes due to their toxicity. Instead, combine potatoes with onions to maximize health synergy effects. How does that sound? By choosing the right food combinations with nutritious potatoes. 
you can safeguard your health. Thank you for staying with me through this discussion. If you found today's video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Please share this valuable information with your beloved family and friends. I will always pray for your health and happiness. This has been your Dr. John. Thank you.